Got a 1948 Chevrolet Coupe Fleet Line, I believe, but this, they put these in a lot of different ones. Style Master and the Fleet Line. Uh, we've done a custom build on this one. I'm gonna show you that. Guy's going 12 volt, nice car, and he's putting in a new windshield wiper motor, so we had to uh, do a little altercation on it so it would fit. So we cut part of that out. We've done a full Aurora design conversion. Very cool rendition of Pack Up Your Sorrows from Latin. And now the little radio's got AM and FM stereo, auxiliary in which is automatic. Uh, we had to build a needle for it. Didn't have a needle on it. Cut the case down. It's got uh, four channels out, 45 watts channel, no speaker in here. And uh, it's got five pre outs on it. If you want to add an amp to uh, your speakers, put in more speakers, add a sub. It's got Bluetooth, hand-free phone calls, voice command, built-in mic, which is right here. We got a built-in mic there. Plus, you get an extra mic. USB. This is your harness you'll be getting. This will charge your phone, play a thumb drive, which comes with it, with the video on it, some music. Auxiliary in right above there. You get a mail-to-mail -mail cord, so you can plug anything into it. Push button operated. Now this one here does have a toner switch. We're, we're gonna go through it so you can say, and also we'll scan your station for you and has voice ID, which is pretty neat. Right now you're on FM. Won't go to AM radio, just simply turn it off and right back on. Take you to AM radio. Like to know where you're at, this little push button comes in handy for all kind of stuff. All you do is push it once. AM 650. Off and right back, takes you right back to FM. Now you got an AM dial, but you're on FM. Wanna know where you're at? FM 89.5 We're going to use that a little more often on setting our, our fader to balance. I think he's going to run several speakers with it, so we need to know how to get in there. Of course, your dial already works like it always did. Push button. Now, presets. Let's find a station, let's preset it. She could fly. Be overwhelming. Is that? Again, here soon. Your own experience. Find one I ain't gonna get in trouble with. Pull your knob up and this little deal pulls out. Unscrew it. Push it in to set the cam on it. This is Let it come back place. out, tighten I'm it up. Push it back in, put your knob down. Now we got it. See, so yeah, we'll go right back to it. That's how you set your presets up. American farmers. It is string driven. All right, now we're going to, uh, this is a toner switch. I'm going to show you how that works. Right now, you're all the way counterclockwise back. In order to set your toner, all you do is flip this all the way down clockwise. Now you're in toner. Mitchell Hora. Treble. Seventh generation. Bass. Whoop. Boy beans. It says finances were tough even before this crisis. That's because when you get it set where you want it, flip it back. She'll hold it. You run the volume hold. How does this even get close to work? Down and back up. You regain your volume. Let's do that again. Invest in their farms. Flip it all the way clockwise on toner. Maximum revenue. Treble. Bass. Pay off my debt. Get your toner where you want it, flip now, it all the way back, she'll hold the volume. Hold. Take your volume back down, and then Those regain it. have been declining for the past few years, and many... Now we're now you also have fader and balance built in this. This is how it works. This is where your push button comes in handy. Take your uh, toner control switch, go all the way Let's go over here first. Get a little volume. That's the trick of this. Get a little volume so you can hear it. Switch it all the way down counterclockwise. Back on your own treble on toner. Take this little push button, push it down once quick, and back down and hold it. Fader adjust. 
fader is rears, fronts. It'll stay in that mode as long as you're moving this, to this volume control. Let's set it up. I like it right there. Stop moving it. Fader set. She'll set it for you. Balance. Two quick pushes and hold it. One, two, hold. Balance adjust. Right side. Left side. Stop moving it. She'll set it. Balance set. Now you got your balance set and all. While you're in that mode, set your treble back where you want it. Base. Flip it back. Counterclockwise. Hold. Take your volume down and back up. Now you set up. That's how a toner control works with the Aurora design. The push button makes it a whole lot easier. Now we, we know this thing will scan stations for you and this is where the push button comes in handy again. Going down the road, you can put it in scanning mode and let it find your station. And this is how you do it. Take this little push button, push it four times. One, two, three, four. Scanning for stations. Now it's gonna start scanning without the needle moving. I'm gonna show you how to lock on the station, how to actually even find it if you want to. Is anybody sick? Has anybody tested positive for the coronavirus? And if they say yes, yeah, well, the people think you're not very wise to attempt this flight. Still scanning. I know. They're calling me the flying fool. <laughs> well, let's go let it go one more. Workers are searching for hope. Hope that only so you like that station there. All you do is turn this once or push this three times. The listeners across the station hold. She'll hold it. And so when she says it, that, it'll go quiet till you find it. News to there the world. And do a preset and you can save it. Today, we'd like to send you a this little deal underneath here is for your lighter dim. To the we got flight. your light wired it's up so it goes to your dash light, people. but you can and still dim you it. You'll learn how to respond to that was part like, of the uh, why does a loving radio back when we had it, so we hooked it up so it still works. Or, if there's an all-powerful God, why is the world so... Now over at the church street, you're... Now we're going to do auxiliary in. You can plug any device you want to in here. It's automatic. Uh, CD changers, MP3s, your phone, uh, satellite radio, XM radio, anything that's got a head puts out a signal. And all you do is plug it in, bring your little deal up, and hit play. Get up off of that thing and shake. Now anytime you're on a device you want to go back to radio, you don't even have to unplug it, just turn that device off. And if you don't touch your radio in 20 seconds, it'll automatically switch back to where we had it. We're going to let it do that. But during that 20 seconds, if you don't want to hear dead air, just turn it off and back on like you're cycling from AM to FM. It remembers you're on FM. We're going to let it automatically change back. Should be getting pretty close. There it is. Change back over. I like that music there. Just right for demonstrating this radio. All right. Now we're gonna run our Bluetooth in. We're gonna pair it up. You'll do the initial pair up on yours too. It'll take multiple devices. It'll always pick number one. So bring your phone up. Let's go to Bluetooth. And let's uh, let her help us pair it up. We're gonna take this little push button, push it and hold it down. Bluetooth ready to pair. Go to our pair up and show up on our phone. got so many in mind. Let's 
let's do something right here. Let's let's unplug the power on it. Cause I've been playing the radio. That's why it won't pair up. We gotta take the power off it for a fuck couple of seconds. Put it back on. Turn it back on. But you'll do this when you turn the car off and on anyhow. Bluetooth connected. And then she connected up. It was still in the connecting mode. All right. We're going to do a voice command. We're going to go to music on my phone. You can look up addresses, tell it to call home if you got it listed or on whatever your smartphone's capable of doing. You can do it with the push button by holding it down, bring your phone up. You can also do it with the volume knob. Play music. Now we're on music. Now I can hit, bring my phone up, just hit play, and it'll automatically change, change over. Put the phone away. You can operate it all right here. You want to advance your songs? You can press once to advance, twice to back up a repeat. You can also do it here. Advance, back up. Phone call comes in, she'll come on and say incoming call. All you do is you can turn this up one click or press this once to answer your call. Twice to uh, disconnect or down or just let the phone hang up. It'll go back to doing whatever you had the radio doing. Let's do a voice command. Let's go back to radio. Hold this down. We've done it with the volume knob going up. Let's hold this. Stop music. Put it in piles right back to radio. Welcome to reaching your world. Now, once you pair up, you shouldn't have to pair up anymore unless you have problems with your phone like I do, or you get a new phone, you'll have to put it back in pairing mode to pair up your phone. But what we're doing, we're turning it off, going to turn it back on like you've done, got out of the car or whatever. Make sure she finds my phone, which I have it paired to. Bluetooth connected. There we go. Now all this is in your instruction book. So that's how your Bluetooth, screen, your music, everything works. The auxiliary in. Now we're gonna do a uh, thumb drive. You can hide this thing in your glove box because the only time you got to take this out, you're going to put a new one in or charge your phone because you can operate it all right here. Put it straight in, go straight to it. Same way with your phone, advance. Back up or repeat. Then you sit there and let you play your favorite music all day long. That's what I do with mine. Um, you want to put it in piles. Like I said, you can work it off from here and you don't even have to take your thumb drive out. There's two ways to put it in piles. You can hold this down one second. Pause. Right back to radio. One second. Go back to the thumb drive. Back on thumb drive. You can also do it here with the volume knob. We went up for Bluetooth. Let's go down. Well. Pause. Right back to radio. Right back to thumb drive. You got multiple ways of working. Your toner control or toner switch on this one. Once you get to Houston, get your radio set up. The only time you should have to go in there is to change your treble bass. And all you do is go all the way clockwise to, to uh, turn your volume knob into your toner. Treble, bass. Get set back volume hold. counterclockwise, take your volume down and regain it. 
That's your original 1948 Chevrolet Coupe custom built radio for a custom car. Uh, we put this bracket on there. You can take this off, but this is kind of pretty close to where the original back. It does, it's heavy enough, it needs a bracket. That way you're not counting on the front end holding it all the time. So we put this back on there so you got something to actually put a bracket to if you want to. But we got it cut out so you can put your uh, put your new windshield wiper motor in. I appreciate you letting me do it for you. Thank you.